Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns, and welcome to 333 Magic 9, your astrology channel. And I'm here at the gravesite of Uncle Sam here in Troy's Oakwood Cemetery. And it's a beautiful cemetery. You might say, what are you doing in a cemetery? Well, November is the month of Scorpio. And Scorpio rules death and rebirth. And there's a lot of activity in Scorpio. There's going to be a new moon eclipse, Saturn's in Scorpio, and Mercury goes direct in Scorpio. Then Jupiter will go retrograde, and then Neptune goes forward. So that is going to make November a very interesting month. So here is what all this means for your sign. Uranus squares Pluto on November 1st. This is the fourth in a series of seven. Virgo, this is the fourth time that Uranus is squaring Pluto. Now this is happening from your eighth house of sensuality and rebirth to your fifth house of romance and creativity. Now the question you must ask yourself is how have you used your willpower and your endurance to help you renew your personal power and your deeper intuitive nature. Everyone is creative in some way. You need to find how to successfully express your talents. You can overcome some obstacles by joining forces on creative projects. There's a new moon eclipse conjunct Saturn in Scorpio, November 3rd. Virgo, the new moon falls in your third house of mind and communications. This is a complex and intense eclipse that combines the power of Scorpio and the energy of Saturn. Now you are responsible when it comes to details, but now a new cycle asks you to bring a deeper sense of meaning into your ideas. If you want to affect and move people, you must analyze the information that comes at you, you must structure it in a comprehensive system, and you must be able to communicate it in an easy to understand manner. Then you may become recognized as an expert. Mercury turns direct on November 10th in Scorpio. When Mercury returns to direct motion after the 10th, the power of your concentration and your ability to communicate more clearly will help bring elimination to any misunderstandings and bring a new sense of direction in travel, in learning, and in communications. Jupiter turns retrograde on November 7th. Virgo, Jupiter changes direction in your 11th house on the 7th. Now the 11th house is the house of friends and group associations. And you may have met a lot of new people in the past few months, and maybe they can even help your social life. But you have to pause for a while to make sure you've met the right people and you've joined the right groups. You want to be loved and admired and you do need to be open-minded but you must also stay true to the values you hold in your heart. Neptune turns direct November 13th. Virgo, you're not always comfortable in public expressing yourself, but now with Neptune going through your seventh house, you may gain a new sense of security through your personal and professional relationships. Your relationships will grow through commitment and idealism. Compassion can add a special spiritual quality to your love life. These predictions were based on your sun sign. If you'd like more accurate information based on your time, date, and place of birth, you can go to my website, professorastrology.com, and go to the personal services page. There you'll find a way to order either a transit chart based on your time, date, and place of birth, or you can contact me for a psychic and spiritual reading. The information is all there. Now, I'd like to 
thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you if you would share this video and please share it because it's free. <laughs> and if you like to like it, like it. So I'd like to again say thank you very much for watching and thank you for listening. And I hope November is a great month for you.